So this is a brief introduction to Bowen therapy, uh, named after the late Tom Bowen, who his family immigrated to Australia in the early 1900s. And as a lay person, he felt the need to um, help his friends and family when they were in their various states of pain. And pretty much he was self-taught. And he came up with what was called the Boeing move, which is basically a very um, slow, gentle, rolling move over muscles, tendons, ligaments. And what we're doing here is the first two moves of the lower back procedure. And basically these first two moves um, so a typical bowing session would um, basically balance the whole body. Yeah. We would start at the, the mid-back and we'd work around down the legs and then we would come to the upper back and the neck and head. You're making pretty subtle moves there, aren't you? They're very, very yeah. gentle, yes. And a lot of people have... Uh, it, it, it's difficult for them to get their head around that. Why, why is she leaving the room? And even for me, when I was practicing, yeah. okay, I've got to go now. Um, it's very respectful, isn't it's, it? It's very body. respectful. And so we do just a couple of moves here. That some people come with you know, body problems. Mm -hmm. um, so people come with emotional issues as well? Or? I think most people uh, originally come with a, a, physical, a physical problem until they realize the, the deep levels that Bowen actually works on. It's the unseen levels where Bowen really surpasses mm -hmm. itself, I think. The hormonal levels, the endocrine system, the immune system. Um, and science is showing that there's, uh, we, we, we hold these tension patterns in our body um, when we're armoring ourselves, when we're trying to protect ourselves from an emotional issue. And I actually had another lady who fell, fell down a drain and was um, quite, quite badly, a storm drain in, mm -hmm. in the, um, you know, in the side of the road. Yeah. And she, her body went through a lot of stress to the point eventually where doctors said there was nothing they could do for her. Um, she tried Bowen as a last resort, as mm -hmm. quite often people do. And I had just, just recently finished the mind body class as it happened. We were just discussing it because she was just, mm -hmm happened to be very, very interested in, in, the, in the whole um, way Boeing works, and we were discussing it. And then she had her treatment, and at the end of the treatment, she suddenly said, oh, I remember in the war, I fell down a drain. And it's almost as if she'd repeated the exact same accident that she'd had as a child when she fell down a manhole couple, uh, the really? manhole couple was off, and she'd fallen down the drain. So it's oh, interesting weird. that so quite often we actually will repeat the even, even the incidences. Because it's... It's like a memory in us, and yeah. we sort of want to do it again, or yeah. we haven't got rid of it. It's fascinating. Uh, I've seen a lady who, whose body was completely um, armoured from uh, a fall that she had while she was abroad. Uh, she actually couldn't even sit down on the plane coming home. And I did uh, what we call the bottom stoppers, or the mm -hmm. openers, mm -hmm. and the top stoppers, or openers. Mm -hmm. um, and that was all we did, uh, because her body was in uh, such trauma. And basically with Bowen we say less is more. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a treatment whereby we're not going to have lots and lots of moves which aren't necessary. You can overload the body with information. This particular lady from these four moves, I left her. Uh, she immediately sat down in her armchair, which was the most comfortable place for her to be at the time, and she fell asleep. When she woke up, the top half of her body had unwound. Wow. Uh, she then went to bed, and uh, when she woke up in the morning, uh, she woke up with the thoughts, oh my God, my body's probably gonna have gone back, right back to where it was yesterday yeah. morning before she had the treatment. And what she actually found was that the bottom half of her body had unwound also. She wasn't completely out of the woods, but she, was, um, the, she had taken off the armor. Yeah. She had, what had happened was the brain had realized that the, the danger was over, and it was safe for her to um, start to relax again. Mm. So this is a typical example of her body being stuck in the sympathetic mode of the autonomic nervous system that we spoke about earlier. And then from the bowing moves, her body then switched, the brain switched into the parasympathetic mode, which is rest and relaxation, mm. which is saying, I'm safe, the danger's over.